Hello, my name is Duff, and today we'll be going over Loopover. Now, if any of you uh, seen my tutorials from about a year ago, you would know that I had a Loopover. Oh, by the way, all available experts, please report to room A9. Yep, just all this noise to go off. If you remember my tutorials from a year ago, I had a Loopover tutorial. The issue with that was, was well, it was very choppy and choppy is a very nice way to put it. So I am going to cover it again. Here's the loop over. As you can see, I have a bunch of arrows and a bunch of letters. And the goal of loop over is to try to get every letter from A through Z, no, A through Y, to be in alphabetical order. So you would have A, B, C, D, E in the first row, then F, G, H, I, uh, J in the second row, etc. And let's see, there's two there's two strategies that I know of uh, in order to solve it. I'll first show you my preferred strategy, and then I'll show you the one that I don't use. Both of these, it, it doesn't seem like either of them have any time advantage over the other. This is purely just a matter of preference. So you can do whichever one you want. So the first the first way I'll show you is just the row by row method. So all you have to do is starting in the top left spot, you just put A there. You just have to navigate A there. And you do that for all the letters. You put B here, and then C in the third column, then D in the fourth column, and then E in the fifth column. Once you have accomplished this, you would go to the next row. And if the letter is not the, if the letter you want is not in the spot where you want it to be, all you have to do is merely set it up to be in the correct spot. Or set yeah, set it up to be in the correct spot. So have it in the correct row you Emergency want it to be. Cleared. All personnel, please return to your stations. Thank you, Ash. So yeah, you want it to be you want it to be in a specific row. So our next letter up is going to be F. We want F to be in the second row. However, it's in the third row. So what what we do to mediate this is we bring the A column down, and then we simply put the F under the A and we bring it back up. And we do that for each letter. So G we go under for B. Now as we can see, H is in the same column as C but we just simply move it out of the way and continue on like normal. Same with I. And J, actually. That's weird. And then we keep moving on. So after J, we have K. Move the K out of the way. Then L. Then M. Then N. Then O. Then P. If you need to sing your alphabet while doing this, there is no shame in doing that, except from your experts. Your S, and then T. Now the final row. Okay. This was exactly the way. Right so, now, the things were meant to happen. All available experts, please report to room A9. The fact that the final row there happened to be in the correct spot was chance alone. Most of the time when that happens, it's not going to be in that spot, or it's not going to be correctly sorted. So let me just do this real quick. Uh, F, G, oh, and that set up H as well, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R is already set, S, and T. Alright, cool. Now the bomb's row scrambled. What you want to do for this case is you want to have so after T, it's obviously U, V, W, X, and Y. As we can see, well, U is never going to be unsorted. Every letter after U is going to be unsorted. 
So what, what we want to do is we want to take what would be the next letter in sequence, so after U would be V, and we want to actually put that in the last row and bring it down. The reason why we bring it down is because we want to just cycle the bottom row until it's in the spot that we want it to be, so that when we bring it up, it will actually continue the sequence. So, for example, we, we just move this U1 over, so that when we bring this up, it's going to be UV. And then we continue on with the other letters. So W is out of line here, so we bring W down, move this right, and bring it back up. And then all the this other letters exactly are sorted. The way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Now, it's very important that you go down and not up whenever you do this. The reason being is that whenever you sort everything out, if you were to go up, this Y and T would be swapped, and you'd have to just resort it. So always go down instead of up. Now I'll show you the other method, All personnel, please return to your station. which I'm not that great at, but oh, it's easy to explain. So you do the same thing as normal. However, instead of completing the row, all you have to do is make a 4x4 grid. So we skip this E, even though it's in the correct spot, and we just go immediately to F. So we have, oops, sorry. So we have F, and we want G to be where B is. So we actually take G out of here, bring it back, uh, and shove it up. So F, G, then H, then I, and this row is complete for right now. So then our next row would be K L M N. So we bring K up. So K goes here. L M and N, and we bring this off to side. So after K Okay, so then we would have P Q R S. So P Bring this down, Q, R, and S. And then what we do is we finish the rows going from top to bottom, and then we do the final row. So let's see, we have E, then we want J, then we want O, then we have a T. And then we do the same thing with the last row that we did in the first step, or in the first method, in which we have, uh, we bring the letter we want down, and then set it up to bring it back. T U V W X Emergency and clear. Y. All personnel, please right return now, to your stations. Things were meant to happen. And that's loop over. Short tutorial, but it's a pretty simple enough module. If you have any questions on well, I'm not sure uh, what questions you could ask, but maybe... Uh, I don't know. If there is anything you want to ask in general, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'll see you in the next tutorial, and get a job!